because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. This is the E-mini, uh, excuse me, this is the ETF that the E-mini is based on. This is cash S&P. And I want to point out something to you now. You'll see we had a high here back on the 15th. We had another high here on the 1st, and we got one certainly making another high here today on the 19th. There's a high, there's a high, and there's a high. What we've done, in the new, and I showed you the picture of the New York Stock Exchange Index, it made a higher high here, it made a higher high there, and it's made a higher high today. That's why this market is so strong. I miss that. I mean, I... I, I apologize, mea culpa, as I would have say, said back in the old days. Look at this monster gap that we have here. But herein, where lies the rough, my friends? Let's just go back and look at see the last time we had a run like this. Now, you can see right here this little red dot here. That means that was a new moon. And as you can see here, this was a full moon. The full moon is today. Happens to be Joe's birthday, 56 years old. Now, let's go back and see the last time we had a full moon. So if we go all the way back here, look what we had here, full moon. My goodness. Now, let's just double check. This one's up 11 days in a row. Hold on. Let's see how many days this is going to be up. Whoopsie daisy. you got to put the right tool in, Lair. Hold on one second here. There's your low. There's your high coming in here. This took 15 days. To make a high, this is only 11 days coming up because you can see, I believe we're in the 11th day right now. Uh, no, 10 days, excuse me. This is 10 days up, but it's it's right on the money. So let's just get this one out of the way here, okay? And now we're going to go back and look. The next time we had a full moon was right here, one day off. One day off of the full moon. We had a nice correction there. We have another full moon right here that came in. One, one day off right here, and then we have the new moon here. So there's something going on in here. But the fact that this has made a new high up here, folks, this is really um, – <laughs> I just have to think that I just missed something really big, and I, I certainly have. This used to be a traded index, the New York Stock Exchange Index, but it's only used for mutual funds for uh, you know valuing and that stuff. So anyway, I, I don't know – where it's going to go with the fact we're having this all this divergence is a is a is a pretty big deal so we'll do one thing at a time now let's look at something that we have gotten correct and that is the silver market and the gold market here's where we were on friday if you remember we were looking for the market to get up to that i'll show you in the gold but there here's where we were in the silver the reason why i'm bringing that up to you folks is because you see this little pullback right here last night it, it went from the 9014. It dropped uh, almost 40 cents. 40 cents in silver is $2,000. And you can see that was an absolute perfect 382 retracement. Okay. Uh, this misses, well, it misses it by about four cents. But you can see the others as you come up here. Here was another one right here. Comes right in and stopped right there at the exact 382 retracement of this move. You see the higher high? I'm going to draw it in so you can see it because it's it's important because this is what leads to these highs and lows. So there was your 3A2 coming in here excitingly right on the money. And that should tell us that, yes, this should be where silver is going to be going today. And guess where silver has been just a little while ago up there at 29.36. The high has been uh, 29.40. We're at 29.31. Now let's take a look at the gold market. Let's get the gold market up here. Interesting one here in the gold. Hold on one second. What we've got to do here is to come over and get up that uh, four-hour chart. There was our – let's get these up here so we can see them. Uh, there was a possibility of a, of a 2558 
We mentioned that, but there was also a strong probability that this could be the move right here because that's the one that led us to this A, B, C, D pattern right here that took us to, and I'll, I'll show you really why the difference is so important here because it was the difference between the August, which is still up. Look at that. That's just an absolute perfect symmetry here. Look where we're here. We're on Friday. Remember that nice little 382 that we had right there? Bada bing, bada boom, and there you came right down to it. Made a slightly lower low, of course, and then boom, that's where we are. We should be, and there's your 1.618 expansion right there. After that occurred, folks, we dropped we dropped $25 last night. Let's just get that four-minute chart. You're going to see there was – I'll get it up here. You'll see it. There was our high coming in right up here at 25. This was the open, and then we had to move down, and then look at this. We came all the way down here. Let's just see if that was a 382. Well, it wasn't a 382 off of that. We can see that. But was it a 382 off of this larger one back here? We're going to look at it right now. I've got a real treat for us, folks. I meant to tell you on Friday we're going to do the live trading. And I'm going to have a very special guest here I haven't seen in 20 years. One of my good friends from the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, Paul Smilgus, is going to be here. Uh, Paul was a floor trader. Uh, he, I knew they were all these were these guys that trade in the euro contracts, and that's where the pit was. You know, had a five six hundred people in it as opposed to one hundred and fifty in the S and P. So these were big players. They were all football players. Every one of them was six five you know, broad shouldered and stuff. And uh, of course, they modeled their dietary uh, program after me, of course. But anyway, uh, he's going to be with us and we'll be talking about some things here uh, on the show here. He'll be spending about an hour and a half in the morning with me and then we're going to uh, go to lunch. But uh, his son is going to school. He's in aeronautical engineering here at the University of Arizona. He wants to be an astronaut and a lot of them come right out of here. So very smart young man. That'll be some fun. Anyway, here's what we're watching here. Let's get up here on the daily and you'll see there's where we opened right here at the 1.618 last night, right under my – see the two 1.618s here, right here? That This is the one on Friday. Here was the one last night. What did we do? We made a beautiful ABCD pattern coming in right about here. Let's clean this out and see how close we were to the previous 382. There was your first one here on Friday. We've already seen that one. But we're going to look at this one. So, oh, I can tell you right now that it's already below it, but by how much – Oh, what am I talking about? A dollar? It's held relatively well, so this looks like it wants to continue to go higher, folks. This is I got to get above here, but that's certainly what it that it, what it looks like uh, from this level right here is what we're watching. Okay, now let's move on. We did cover finish the silver. I showed you that's what we were looking at here. Looking at the daily chart on silver. There's where we are. We've not quite reached. We've taken out the highs of August now today. Uh, we've, you know, certainly gone beyond, beyond the, uh, the coveted uh, 382 here, and the 50% is right up here. It only missed the 50% level by uh, three cents, so that might mean something. But Frank, that this took this out. What I'm watching is that four-hour chart because it's really clear to see that if this is going to be it, this should this should be the move right here that ends it. And we're going to just double check to see if we get that correct. There's your ABCD leg. Now we got another ABCD leg right behind it. And that's the one that should tell us where we want to be. And that would have taken us right up here to this level. So we're going to pay attention. And we're going to take a break. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters 
letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, this is the Russell. We're going to run through these indices just to see where we are because the fact that we made new highs in the NASDAQ, or excuse me, the, the uh, New York Stock Exchange Index, we're not even close on the, I mean, the Russell so far away from new high that uh, you have to remember it's on the weekly here that it made its high uh, several years ago. Well, that's the futures, and I have to get now since I started it, let's finish it. Okay, if you remember the Russell here. Oh, where are we at here? There it is right here. Here's the Russell, as you can see here. On the weekly, let's just get it up here. Well, you can see where we are in the daily. You know, that's not doing much. But if you look at this on the weekly, we topped several years ago. And we haven't, you know, we're not even anywhere near the old highs here. Because you can see here, we'll just draw this up. So it's much weaker. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, as we look at this on the 4-hour, I thought it was going to have a lot of resistance here at this level where we are right now, which was 2165. We hit there on Friday. Here we are again right now at 2165. That's where we're sitting right now. That's above. All I'm saying, that is the 1.618 expansion of that move right there. And then if you mark this off from this level here, your ABCD leg right here, it should bring you in up to this level. What says 2150, but there's two others in here that you have to consider. One of them is this, which it looks like we're already above it by just a tad. Hold on a second here. That didn't work out the way. I'm going to have to draw it in this way, I guess. Hold on, folks. I hate to do it this way, but that's the only way it catches their absolute lows. And there it is right there. This is 2160. Well, it says 2165.70. We're at 2167.80. Uh, so it shouldn't get much above where we are right now. If it does, then, you know, it's probably going to go for a whole lot higher. And you have to say if the, if the, if the stock exchange, the overall stock market, the NYSE, is making new highs, people are buying this stuff, folks. So, you know, the analysis that I thought that there was a top coming back, I mean, the top that we looked at for July 17th is still there. But when the rest of the markets are going up and they're not following along, we're talking about the four major indices, folks, the Russell, the NASDAQ, the S&P, and the uh, – uh, Dow Jones, I mean, all of them uh, have uh, not made new highs. And yet here we are making new highs 
in the in the, in the NYSE. I've never seen that, and I've been looking at this stuff for a long time. <laughs> that doesn't make any difference. That means they can still go higher. I'm just bringing that to your attention. Okay, so let's move on here, and we'll take a look at uh, another one we want to watch. Let's do the Dow Jones one because that was the one that looked like it was absolutely the best that we had. Hold on one second. We want to get this uh, where we want to be here. Hold on. This shouldn't be too bad. Let's get the daily up because that's what we worked on. Look at that thing setting right there, right on the exact 786. And uh, we sold it on Friday there at uh, just a tad under that. And then last night I, I sat there and I watched this and I said, this cannot be happening. And I put this up here and I watched this last night. Let me draw this in here because you're going to believe this when you see it. There's where we were. There's where we were Friday. Here's where we were this morning when we came in. Now, Johnny, pick up your little placard and mark off the old 382 because there it stayed there for well over an hour, two hours right there. And then it exploded. And you can see the expansion number that it just made just now was at 10,553. No, excuse me, 41,053. That's supposed to be the high of the day, but I don't know. Look at this 382 that we had right here just a little while ago. That's that's only about an hour or so ago from your low right here up to your high. Where does it stop? Exactly at the 382. Folks, there might be something to this 382. Hmm, maybe that'll help us if the market ever does turn down. We'll have more information as we uh, move along here. I think we've covered the ones that I wanted to be covering right now. Uh, oh, here's another one that was very good to us that we talked to you folks about. Let me get this up here. Here is the, the remember the Japanese yen trade? There's where we were. This is the four-hour trade. We stayed here for well over 12 hours, folks right at this level and now you can see we've broken down very hard and we had a little tiny bit of a rally here today so we're going to go to the 60 minute and see if it might have been a 3A2 we're just going to look at it so there's where we are we sold it up here you can see the markets come down really strongly and we're going to mark it off from your low down to your high and so far we've almost made a 3A2 retracement right here now, this trade still looks good. We've taken out the lows of the eight. That's a really good sign. So we've got another 3A2 possibly coming in. This used to mean that stocks were going to be weak, but not anymore. <laughs> they keep going up. So I don't know what to tell you, but I've been wrong, and I'm not going to stay wrong. I, I uh, threw up my hands. When I heard that thing on, on Bloomberg today, I said, you've got to be kidding me. And so I, you know, I don't. I don't have uh, well, I, you know, I have trading view. I could have looked at that, but I immediately went to Yahoo to pull it up, and sure enough, there was those three patterns making new highs. And frankly, if I'd have seen that over the weekend, I would have changed my strategy uh, by a lot because I would have said, uh "Oh, you got to give it credit that it's ready to make a new high." And in fact, that is in fact what it's done. Whether it's doing it on the full moon or not really doesn't make a whole lot of difference, does it? But we will have Paula. T. Webb Douglas will be our guest here in just about six minutes. So let's stay with us. We covered that. Uh, I think we've have we covered the Treasury bonds. No, here they are. Here's the Treasury bonds. Had a little bit of a rally. We were we were expecting to rally just a little bit. Let's see if it did what we thought it was going to do. Uh, didn't quite make the level we were waiting to see. You remember we sold it back here, folks. The covering spot was right there. That was let's get that hourly chart. You'll be able to see it. There was your 61% retracement covering spot, which was right there. And then we came up, and it looks like this is where we're headed to get above this level here. We're going to be in a trading range, I think, for a while. But we'll see if that's going to you know, continue to be uh, moving in that direction. So I, ho I hope that's some indication that you know, these patterns do work. You can see the three drive to a top pattern that we had way back here on August the 5th, which was a big day in the stock market. So, Wow. I just, uh, I'll tell you, it really, really surprised me. You know, one, one thing that I should have, and I don't, well, uh, I will do this. I will get that New York Stock Exchange Index hooked up on TradingView and start looking at it. Because for me to miss something like that was uh, just unheard. I looked at the Wilshire, and the Wilshire wasn't even close. 
And um, but the Wilshire only has 3,800 in it now. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, well, we got just a second here to look at the crude oil market because that certainly has continued to go lower as we thought that it might. There it is. You can see here we had a little bit of a rally. It was basically nothing here, folks. And we said if it went below this level right here, look out and look. You had this little tiny rally right here, not an ABCD or anything, just a little rally. And then bang, you just slammed it down. Let's look at it on an eight minute chart just to see if the old 382 popped up anywhere here this morning. And here's where we are. Let's, let's see. You can't really see this hasn't me. Oh, here it is. There it is. Well, there it is right there. Shut the front door and raise the rent. You can see it right there. There's from your high. There's your low. You see it's right in there at 382.37. Pretty much spot on. And as you can see here, we've headed down and we're still going down. And how much lower is going to be shown on the next chart, which is the daily. Uh-oh. We're in trouble, folks. 877. 877- Nine two seven six six four eight. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keckstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. 
Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, I believe we have Paul T. Webb Douglas on the line today. PT, are you there? I'm here. Paula, my memory bank was running a full speed ahead this morning. I was watching some CNN about the uh, Democratic National Convention. As I recall, when I met you in 1983, you were doing something in the politicians. Weren't you writing a copy for one of the politicians or something? Uh, I was actually working for the uh, Democratic Senate, the U.S. Senate, uh, for their uh, main uh, fundraiser. So ah, okay. uh, he, he was he was located in Chicago, but you know, so we went back and forth between D.C. and Chicago, hosting a lot of really great parties. <laughs> you know, yeah, sometimes well, that, they were that, even back then <laughs> it was uh, like ten thousand dollars a plate. So yeah. Yikes. Wow, yeah. that was pretty so good. So I got yeah. I got to meet That's some of the big big wigs in Chicago and some of the most priciest real estate on Lakeshore Drive, and yeah, it was yeah. it was a lot of fun. It really was, and the senators, of course, who were yeah. scoundrels, you know, with girlfriends yeah. on the side and all no. that kind of stuff. But I'm I discreet. I'm not mentioning any names. <laughs> Paula, you you would tell the folks. I mean, I being from in Southern Indiana, we always heard about Illinois politics, but it is. It goes off the charts as far as uh, the way they shake each other's hand. I mean, it's just, hey, let's talk about something else. People don't want to hear this crap anyway. So let's move yeah. on here to uh, tell us a story about the spider crap. we got to hear this. I've heard it from three or four different people. They want to hear it again. So please tell the story again. Okay. So uh, Mark and I were in Arizona at the time. And um, anyway, I think Mark was at your house, I think, Larry, on this particular day. And yes. I went into the kitchen to, to start making dinner, and there was this huge, huge spider on the wall. Now, when I say huge, I'm talking the size of this hand, okay? It's a tarantula. And I don't have big hands, <laughs> but we're talking five, six inches in diameter. Well, I just about freaked out, and I'm calling Mark, and I'm screaming into the phone, get home, get home, get home. And he's like, Paula, it's a freaking spider. I'm like, no, you have no idea. So anyway, he comes home, he's all irritated, and um, he says, I said, "Is where's the spider? So I took him in the kitchen, and he's like, whoa, yeah, that's pretty big. <laughs> I said, thank you, I'll wait for your apology now. Anyway, so he got a big Tupperware, you know, container, and he captured right. it because, you know, Mark and I are catch and release people. We don't yeah. kill things because we don't want to get to the pearly gates and have God say, oh, my God, you killed four million of my bugs. You know, whatever. Yeah. That's our philosophy. You don't have to do it yourself. I'm just saying that's who yeah. we are. So anyway, he released it. And I, well, then I freaked out. And this was a, this was my the theme of my radio show was about fear. And. I, I just I went tore through the whole house. I emptied out closets. I'm I'm spraying Raid and Lysol. I'm cleaning everything out because I was assured <laughs> that there was millions of sp spider babies. Okay, yeah. I mean I found out that it was just a crab spider and they're harmless. You know yeah. they they are scared of humans obviously, but but they they lay wow. hundreds of eggs. So I was convinced yeah. this was a mama who had just laid her eggs. And I was I was packing up ready to move. I'm like, we're out of here, Mark. I'm done. <laughs> but but what yeah. it did was it, it gave me um sorry, I have a little bit of allergies, people. Um it gave me insight. It was a message. I looked at it as a message from God, the universe, higher power, whatever you want, whatever you subscribe to or not, that I needed to address something that I was afraid of. And my fear was just focused on that spider. So I had to sit down and, you know, get out my, my pad of paper and say, what am I really afraid of? Because I was just focusing on that spider because I was, I was trying to ignore what I was really afraid of. So yeah. this is what all traders have to come to terms with, is you can't ignore what you're afraid of. Are you afraid of losing, you know, fear yeah. of failure? Um, fear of being wrong, fear of looking stupid or feeling stupid, fear of not making it as a trader. But you'll focus your fear on something else. So you'll divert your attention away from what you're truly afraid of. And this is this is what I call fake traders. So mm -hmm. a lot of traders will call me up and say, well, I hesitated. You know, I didn't get in when I should or I got out too late yeah. or, you know, whatever their trading challenges are. 
And I'll say, okay, well, well why'd you hesitate? Well, I don't know. Yes, you do know. You do know, you just don't want to take responsibility for whatever it is, whatever reason you didn't get in or get out. Mm -hmm. So until you come to terms with why you're hesitating, then you're not going to make it as a trader. You'll be, you'll be consistent at being inconsistent. Yeah. So yeah. my experience with this crab spider, and you guys can look them up online, they are huge. And they, they have them you know, over here in California and Arizona and, and, and in other parts of the world. They can be like three feet big, honest to God, over like in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Shut door. Oh my yeah, God. I'm not yeah. kidding you. When I saw those yeah. pictures, I was like hyperventilating. You know? yeah. but, but the point was, um, you know, my fear was was focused on that spider because I didn't want to look at something else that I was afraid of. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, once I sat down and said, all right, what am I really afraid of? I realized it wasn't this spider. I could have killed it. I could have taken a newspaper and just smashed it. I could have captured it myself, you know, but the point was I didn't want to. I didn't want to look at what I was afraid of. So that's a good, the good point analogy. Was, that's a great analogy. What? It's a great analogy because that's it yeah. happens to everybody. It happens to me almost every day. I look at something and say, I better not do that, you know. And so I, especially today when I realize I'd missed something so important. But, yeah, you have to do that. But, you know, the one thing that Mark always told me, he said, look, you don't have to be afraid of anything. He said, just remember my favorite city in Texas. And I, what do you mean, Mark? He said, it's Fort Worth. He said, because there's two things that you never have to worry about in trading. And one is fear. And the second one is a worry. And I said, why? He said, you put a stop in and that takes all of that away from you. Because if you don't put that stop in, you should have a fear and you should worry. And, and that's the that was the secret. And by God, he, he was he was certainly spot on for sure. Right. Hey, and, I and, I'll, and I'll share yeah. with you what I was afraid of. Um, you know, I've been a floor trader. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, of course, electronic trading came along in the 90s. Yeah. Um, and I never really, I didn't really excel at that because, you know, once you're on the floor, Larry, you know, you're in that action. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's oh, an yeah. adrenaline time, rush. Time it's span, it's, it's time such an addiction. Is three minutes, yeah. Your time span yeah. is three minutes. And, yeah. and so just to be sitting in at a desk with no noise, no action, I, I was having, I was really struggling with my trading. And yeah. so then I realized, hey, I don't have to sit here and look at the screen every day. I can put in my put on my trades, put in my stops and walk away. And that's when I became a mechanical trader. So thanks to God sending me that huge crab spider, I got my <laughs> awareness and I got the answer that I needed to realize I don't have to be a subjective trader or intuitive. Yeah. What's best for me is being a mechanical trader. That's good. Hey, stay with us. Okay. T. We'll be right back. Paula T. Be in the house. 877-927-6648. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, 
You don't have to worry about that. As Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Paula T. How are you doing? What else do you have for us? It looks interesting, dear. Um, well, I just want to want to make a quick comment that there's a lot of times that traders will call me up and and they'll be having challenges being consistent, and so I, I suggest to them, well, why not just be a mechanical trader for a couple months, you know, to kind of get back in, you know, back in sync, and time and time again, the traders will say, well, that's not really being a trader, and <laughs> I have to tell you, you know. <laughs> Some of the best traders I've ever known, and you too, Larry, they're mechanical traders. Now, they put in their put on their trades, put in their stops. Now, they may still watch the market, but they're disciplined enough to not fuss with their trades that are already in place or their stops. So I don't, I you know, there's this thing across the Internet where, well, if you're just a mechanical trader, you're not really a trader because you're not in the action. And that's a bunch of hooey. And so I want everyone out there that's listening to this you know, there was nothing wrong with being a mechanical trader. I've been doing it for 20 years, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I don't understand where this is coming from except from people who really don't know what trading is all about. So yeah. if, if you're not having the type of results that you want, and I give you the suggestion to take three months and just, you know, put on your trades, put in your stops and walk away, if that's going to help you get back on track or get on track to be even to begin with then just try it you've got nothing to lose and there there's I, I don't I just don't get this whole stigma about being mechanical traders so I just wanted to share that you know with with your folks out here because it it seems to be a growing phenomenon with the people that I'm coaching that they're like well everybody knows a mechanical trader is not really a trader well uh, gee I didn't know that so yeah. you know so who's ever listening? That's that's a bunch of hooey, and I don't know who started it, but it's 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 really not true, not true at all. Okay, okay? so sounds good to me. Okay, now how would the folks? I, I understand you you become a sort of a uh, radio star now. Uh, you're on a YouTube radio channel that people can listen to you occasionally. What what's that all about? Uh, well, it's um, uh, uh, it's about learning how to think like a prosperous person as a trader, that your inherent God-given right to be prosperous. You know, I and I'm not being religious here. This is just, you know, Mark's philosophy, my philosophy, your philosophy, Larry, is that, you know, God wants us all to be as prosperous as we choose to be. And so, right. you know, my show is based on helping people understand that the choices that you make are going to reflect in your trading results. And so you have to learn how to think about those choices that you're making every single day. If you choose not to follow your rules, 
well, that's on you, yeah, uh, period. Right. And that means you either yeah. don't believe yeah. in your rules or you don't believe in yourself or you're just lazy. It could be a combination <laughs> of all of those. Okay. Amen to that, but, that's for sure. You know, but the point is every single trading day before you put on your first trade, you make a decision as to who you're going to be as a trader. You do. You may not think about yep, it, but sure you do. do. Yep. So you have, you have to make to a decision. Do, do I want to be prosperous? Do I want to make money? Or do I want to be right? It's up to you. Yep. So the show is kind of based on taking people through step by step of how mm -hmm. to clear out outdated mm -hmm. programming and okay. understand what you're thinking and why. Okay. Let me ask you a question. How if how, what what's the channel that they go to to watch you do that? Is it just you YouTube or? Uh, no, it's 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 actually on my website, um, polityweb.com under uh, Paula's radio show. Okay, great. That's super. Glad to hear. Glad you're doing well. Always remember the. Yeah, it's, people, and it's you know? it's every week. So every yeah. week there's there's yeah. you know, new stuff. Ah, good. Uh, listen, so, thanks for joining us today. This is really nice yeah. to talk to you. I'll have you on in a couple of weeks again, okay? Okay, sounds good. Remember some of these stories, Paula, because you've got a ton of them. And I keep, I, you know, I, some <laughs> of them I remember, some of them I don't. But, boy, some of them are pretty doggone funny. Oh, by the <laughs> way, did you know Paul Smilgus is coming to spend the day with me on Friday? Remember him, the Euro-dollar trader, the guy that looked like I'm Paul I'm sorry, Horning? who was it? Paul Smilgus. You know, he looked like Paul Horning. He oh, yes. About, uh -huh, sure. Yeah. His son Tell is in the – uh, yeah, yeah, he's his son is in the uh, aeronautical engineering here. He's a junior at University of Arizona, so he's coming out to um, deliver a car for him to drive, and he's going to spend the day with me and then fly home. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We can sit here and lie to each other for a few hours. <laughs> cool. Hey, well, th you know, I'm going to I'm going to get down there to Tucson to sit with you for a couple I, days too I myself. So. I, I need I a refresher. To, I just need a later any, fix in live. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome all the time, as you as you know. Uh, thanks for joining us, PT. I certainly do appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Anytime. It's my pleasure. Okay, folks, get back up here and see what these markets are doing now. Has anything changed since the last time we talked? Probably not much. Let's get the screen up so we can share it, and I'll show you the things that I'm watching here. These are the things that I'm following today. This is the, the uh, YM, uh, the silver, of course, the spy. Uh, the Japanese yen, the e mini S and P gold, uh, Treasury bonds, crude oil, and and the the only big surprises today was the fact that the uh, crude oil did not uh, hold that level that was so very very important. Uh, we we already pointed this out. That was this level right here, fifty seven ninety one. We had this little tiny rally. Um, Last night, there was today's action from last night. You see, we came down, we took out, we matched this actual low, and then we rallied back up. But there was no 382 really that you could, you know, line up that would even be close to anything. And then, of course, we started down. And then I mentioned if you looked at it on a much smaller time scale, you probably would have found one. And, and really, you really don't because there's where there's where there was the rally back, and that's where it broke down from. And then there was nothing there. There's not a, this is just a, you know, falling safe. And that's, uh, that's pretty much, you know, what we're, you know, kind of keep an eye on. Now, let's go back for just a second. We want to re review a market that we've been watching for a while. And that is the live hog market. And let's just, uh, it's always nice. We can go from um, crude oil to hogs. They're both quite, oh, we, by golly, it did it, son of a gun. Remember, we said, watch for a 382 retracement here. And there it was on Friday. Right on the 382 retracement today, it opened basically a little bit higher, and it's already up three and a half cents here because it hit it right on the money here. And there's your lower. I'm going down to a little smaller time frame. You'll probably be able to see it opened up. Yeah. Oh boy, it's even better. Holy cow! There's where we were here on Friday. There was the pullback. This is just absolutely. This is just gorgeous, folks. You gotta love this stuff. Look at this. There, I see. Keep the placard way, uh, the placard way up in the air, Johnny. On this one, there is your 382 here on Friday. Here's where it opens, uh, right here, and then boom, you know, way that it, it just takes right off. I mean, it's just everything you could ask for. So, kind of keeping an eye on these folks when you see these 382 because they're they're really they're very very powerful uh, tools. And when they fail, they're telling you that uh, something very, very po positive is happening, okay? So reminder, now listen, since we're on the program here, we'll take a quick look at the cows. 
because pretty soon no one's going to be able to afford the beef anyway. So let's take a look at October cattle up here. Ah, they're holding their own down here. This might be a buyer, folks. Let's keep an eye on this. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back and finish up on cattle. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I want to spend this last few minutes here on the Bradley model. Uh, this was Donald Bradley wrote this book and uh, pro. Uh, Stock market timing. Oh, I can't remember the name of the book. Son of a gun. Anyway, uh, it was a 48-page uh, pamphlet. Basically, it was based on the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones has been available for a long, long time, 150 years. S&P came in in the 50s. NASDAQ came in in the 70s. The New York Stock Exchange Index came in in the 60s. So, I mean, a lot of these are younger, but he's based it everything on the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones has not made a new high yet. It's close, but it hasn't made a new high as of yet. So if it does make a new high, this means that this Bradley model is just totally wrong. I mean, we could see it go up and double top or something like that. But, you know, the fact that it did this, now you can see we had a little bit of choppiness down in this area right here. And here's where we are right now towards the, uh, see, there's your first week. There's your, this is your full moon that you're looking at right here. 
uh, on this one right here. Okay. This is where on the 19th, and then of course here you in September. But it says you're going to be down into uh, 2005, at least in, into Election Day or a little bit after. But if we if we take a new high in the Dow Jones, then that's it. We've made a new high in the New York Stock Exchange Index. Believe me, folks, I don't get surprised very often. But boy, today when I heard that on Bloomberg and I looked at that, I said, "Oh my God." Why didn't I see that? Because that was certainly telling you this market didn't want to back off today, at least coming into this uh, the 19th uh, of August as we see this coming around. So I have an announcement. The next two days are the Pesavento going to the clinic day. When you reach my age, uh, you get to go to have your physicals every six months. So I go in for my two-day physical on Tuesday and Wednesday. I'll be able to do the show on uh, Thursday and Friday. I might even be able to do the show on Wednesday if I get everything done in time, but I definitely won't be here tomorrow. So uh, everything's fine. I'm feeling good, looking good, and you know, living the best way I can. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side on Thursday for sure, Wednesday maybe. <laughs>